Hi everyone, welcome back to Tied Up with the Morgan. So today, I am going to make something that we have left in the fridge. So we have chicken from Costco, um, a little bit left of carrot, maybe like one cup, and five potatoes. What are we going to make? You want me to tell them? I am going to tell you right now. You won't. You don't want me to tell them. Okay, I'm not gonna tell them. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. I. Okay, no, I'm not telling them. Just start cooking, right? Here, I got a new blender and food processor at the same set in the same set for Christmas, and I am going to use this thing for cooking today. So first, I'm gonna chop potato first. I don't know how it's gonna turn out because this is my first time using the the food processor. In here, so we will see how it turn out. So I put three for the first time, and then lock, and then. This is how it look. After I blend, not blend, it's like chop everything in the blender. And I will just rinse this and we'll use it again with the carrot. So next, I will do the carrot. Put it on here and close and then chop it. And this is how it look after I shop it. And then I'm gonna go rinse again and I'm gonna shop with the onions. And then maybe try to make a sound behind the camera. So I rinse the bowl and I put it back and then I put one onion in and then blend, not blend, shop it one more time. I really love this thing. So that's it. Done. Ty is acting like he's watching a YouTube video now. Standing you can on the other side of the camera, <laughs> staring at you. You can bring him behind me, but he he's cannot. doing fine here. He Last cannot. Time he cried. <sighs> you were going to tell them what you were making. <laughs> right. I was going to tell you guys what I'm going to make. And then baby Ty doesn't want me to tell you guys. So it's still big secret at, at this point. So for this is fine. You put the blade back. And now you can put the chicken in. This is really convenient and save a lot of time. Like, if I didn't, if I don't have this, I would sh shop on the cutting board and it would take some time. But since I have this, it's made my life easier. Where did you get it? I got it from Christmas. Mm -hmm. You know how did I get it? Tell them. I ordered it for myself. From me. <laughs> but Levi paid the card, so yeah, it's a gift from him. So close it and blend. Oh, I think it's good. This blender is really powerful. I'm not trying to sell it because they don't sponsor me. <laughs> but 
it is really powerful and has um one two three full blade and it can blend really easy like look all the chicken that i just put earlier and this is what we got so far five potato shop one onion shop carrot i would say one and a half cup shop and chicken and we have baby Thai here you want some chicken can i get you a little piece So I think I need to tell you what I am going to make is like um, street Indian food. But how do I know Indian food? I don't, and I am not an expert. But we have this kind of food in Thailand because we have like some Indian people that sell Indian food, and I love Indian food so much. So this one called Mataba. It's like a roti that have stuffing inside that made from potato and any kind of vegetable. Mostly that I saw was a onions and carrot and have the chicken that I just um, shopped earlier. And also, if you don't have the kind of chicken that I have, you can use ground turkey or you can use beef. I have not seen a lot of Indian food use pork in their food. I think it could be some sort about like religion. How do I pronounce? I don't know. Religions? Religion. Yeah. Religion. Religions? Yeah. That's it. Like they don't really eat pork and I don't see much of Indian food that make from pork too. So I make from, I'm going to make with the chicken that we have from Costco today. And if you wanna try, nothing is wrong about it. So you can try and let me know how it turn out. So I'm gonna show you right now what we need. And mataba, we'll have to make the stuffing first. So right now I'm going to make a stuffing before I make the dough. My chicken is already cooked, so it's gonna be too dry for me. But if you use like raw chicken, raw turkey, it's gonna give you some juice. In my case, it's too dry for me, so I'm gonna put like half cup of water. As much as you want. Um, I would say like one tablespoon for you guys because I don't know if you guys get to you get used to the curry yet or not. 
but for our family we love curry so I do put like two or three tablespoons Yes, that's how it's turned out. Mine a lo look a little different than the original because I used the blender to chop it. But mostly, from what I have seen in Thailand, they chop by the hand. So it's like a little dice. And the potato and carrot and onions, also the chicken, is more like in pieces. So I think it's fine with me. It saves a lot of time and okay so right now i will just pause everything right here and that is because we are going to drop baby ty off at his grandma and after we drop him off we will be back and i will continue cooking and show you how to make the dough for mataba in the dressing did so. you tell them about the upcoming video Oh, no. So, <laughs> baby, I don't want me to tell them. Okay. <laughs> like usual. So, I will. Okay, I will tell them later. I'll give Not... one hint. Cooking with Levi. Interesting. Okay, you want to say bye-bye? You want to go to Yaya now? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I'll be right back. Give it to Jake. Say Jake. So, this become Ty's work. Before we leave the house, Ty will have to give Jake a treat. <laughs> Hi, I am back now. Last night we came back home a little bit late and I just decided to continue everything tomorrow. So right now I am going to do um, a dough to fry and like wrap with the stuff that I made yesterday. So the ingredient that we need is all purpose flour for two and a half cup water half cup vegetable oil half cup and sugar for like no this sugar like one tablespoon and salt for half teaspoon and I'm I am going to mix it in the blender again this one I have a different blade it, this one is for the dough so you just put it in there so 
So for what I do, I will just keep keep mixing the dough so it's gonna be more like sticky and I don't have to do that myself, just let it keep doing. And this is how it turned out. It's pretty nice. I think I might have to knead it for more, um, just a little, just to get it all together. And I think I'm gonna do more dough in another batch here and I will get them all together. So let me do that. And this is the dough I got and I'm going to separate them into small piece for 100 grams a piece. Now I roll everything together and I got total 12 pieces and I um, melt the butter for one stick and then I'm gonna pour it on top of this. Now we are going to do the dressing. All we need is just um, white sugar and white vinegar and the spoon. It doesn't matter how big of the spoon you will do at the same measurement. Is five spoon of white sugar with four spoon of white vinegar. You mix them. To, you mix them together and put it on the stove until um it's boil until all the sugar is melt and get together with the vinegar and maybe you can boil it until the smell of the vinegar is gone and then that is good and then you just leave it cool down for the dressing to cool down i'm gonna show you how i am actually doing the mataba right now okay right now i'm gonna knead the dough in a what it call flat shape like you do with the pizza but this is not pizza it's a dough that you wrap the stuffing inside Oh, you can come closer and see. You have to use a mat? Um, yeah, uh, if you don't have this, you can use the big cutting board or you can even do on the plate too. But my my opinion, I think it's easier to use the, the thing like this because it's easy to clean up and it's flat on the table so you can actually work on the dough so maybe you already told them but is this pretty authentic what authentic means like real like is this real indian i'm not sure because um i growing up in thailand and i saw some indian people around in my country a lot that they sell sell roti and roti i think is like a culture food in india and they have they have make it for like a dessert that you can put like banana or strawberry or you can just fry the dough and you can put like a jam on top of it and this thing is my favorite because i like it as a main food better so they have stuffing that I made last night and it's really easy. It might not be the original, but it's close enough and we have stuff in the fridge. So I just want to make it. So right now this is look good for me. 
and you can come see this. This is the stuffing that I made last night that I put it in the fridge and you might need like a good amount of it. Like that and then you're gonna mix it with eggs. So one egg for each bowl you're gonna do. Right, and then I'm gonna turn the stove on. fry everything and it is cooked and it's gonna turn out like this oops <laughs> and then you just cut it into a small piece so you can have like a bite so i will do half and half like this And then you can decorate with the sorrento on top if you can want to come closer on top like this and then um, um, and then with the dressing that we made earlier I chopped the um, cucumber red onions and a little bit of um, Thai chili if you don't like spicy and if you don't like spicy at all you don't need the chili and that will be it the way you eat you just have to um put this like this on top of the um, mataba i want some chili so i put chili on this on this mm. Mm. it is really good i'm gonna let levi to try and we'll see how he think about this Plate. All right. I've had this before, right? I think so. It. I think it was. I think it was the last pregnancy. <laughs> mm, that sounds right. Yeah. I remember really liking it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Really good. So yeah, I'm glad it turned out great and I think we are going to finish that piece together and I'm going to finish making everything and keep it in the freezer that how our life goes right now food from the freezer because we are really busy Levi work and I take care of baby Thai all the time and it's not convenient to cook when baby is around it's not safety so it will be easier to prep everything ready and put it in the freezer and when you bring it out you just throw it in the air fryer so it's gonna be fresh again yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a lot of different meals that, I'm, last pregnancy, Kate didn't want to cook, which was like, 
she's never like that. Just she had like morning sickness, didn't always want to cook. Uh -huh. So this time, she, before she got to that point, she made all sorts of foods and froze them to be prepared. But, but actually, she's wanted to cook this whole pregnancy. So <laughs> we got a lot of food in the freezer, and she's always cooking. So we're eating well. Well, it will be good for after I give birth anyway, because. Mm -hmm. For the last pregnancy, oh, yeah. I did that too. I make a fried rice and keep it in the freezer. It's great. It helped our life a lot because I couldn't cook for like a month or so. Yeah. Yeah, it was tough. So yeah, thank you so much for being with us today and hope you guys try this thing. It's really good it and is. I love it. And that made me feel like I'm walking on the street in Thailand. They don't have it much, but they have in my area that I leave. So it's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. We, we really appreciate all of you guys that are always here. There's a lot of uh, repeat people, and uh, you always have the kindest things to say, and it means a lot to us. We love reading them. We read them together, and yeah, we really do appreciate it. Sometimes we might not get back to the comments. Um, Ty, if usually is good at taking the phone out of our hands if he's up <laughs> try to do it at night when he's asleep but no we really do appreciate all the kindness that you guys show and um yeah thanks for being here yep thank you so much bye-bye